Hey guys, I'm Aaron and welcome to Aaron Plays Fun Fact. In each episode, we're gonna invite our friends to ask Aaron fun facts they really wanna know. Let's take a look at today's Ask Aaron video. Hi Aaron, my name is Audrey and I'm from Quebec, Canada. I am a cybersecurity student. So since there's a big pandemic happening around the world, I was wondering what would be the best survival skills that we could adopt. So thank you. Thanks Audrey. Sure, in this pandemic, we're all staying at home and most of us are in great shape. Our phone has GPS and apps for basically everything. But what happens if we run out of battery? You will need some key survival skills. So today we're going to learn 10 life-saving facts about survival. More than any skill, your attitude determines how successful you are in a survival situation. The most basic survival skills might even determine life or death. Number one, to start, consider the rules of three. A human can survive for three minutes without air, three hours without a regulated body temperature or a shelter, three days without water, and least importantly, but still important, three weeks without food. Fact number two, many people who are in survival situations often get in big, big trouble because of no shelter. And they're exposed to many dangerous elements. They could easily die of hypothermia, which can be easily avoided with basic survival skills of building shelter. It's extremely important to prevent heat loss or if you're in a desert, water loss. Here are some things that can help you plan if you're gonna build a shelter. One, location. Locate your home base near materials and away from hazards. Number two, insulation. Insulate yourself away from danger. Number three, heat source. Body heat or fire heat. Number four, personal or group shelter. If you're alone with no shelter and nobody around, Try to stuff your jacket or winter coat with leaves, grass, the stuff that can keep your heat in your body. Fact number three, water. Since the human body is 78% made of water, it's no surprise that water is higher on the to-do list than food or fire. Many lost persons die due to dehydration or the debilitating effects of waterborne pathogens from untreated water. In addition, minerals and metals that can be found in water downstreams from industrial and agricultural operations. The best sources for head clean drinking water in nature are springs, head water sources, and from morning dew. But the most efficient way of getting clean water is obviously boiling the water by leaving it boil for two to three minutes that will kill bacteria and other viruses. Fact number four, fire. It's not a very much need of survival skills, but it's one of the most useful ones. It can help warm your body, your shelter, cook your food, boil your water, and all kinds of good stuff. Also, fire can provide a psychological support in a survival situation, creating a sense of security and safety. Ideally, when traveling in the wilderness, it's very good to bring some fire starting tools like matches, flint and steels. Even with these tools, it can be very challenging to make a fire in some humid weathers. We highly recommend practicing fire starting skills before you travel in the wilderness. Fact number five. If you're stranded on an island or in the woods and you need to make a fire quick, Here's what you need. Get stone, wood, some dry leaves or grass. Make a small pile of wood. Put some dry leaves or grass on it. You can heat it up with a magnifying glass or a plastic bottle. But if you don't have any of that and you're in the wilderness, just take a stick, rub it on the pile of wood and it'll make enough heat to start a 
fire. Popular friction fire making methods include bow drill, hand drill, fire saw, and fire plow. Fact number six, one of my most precious moments of the day, eating. So we're gonna learn how to get food, food. You might be surprised that food is very low on the survival list. Though it can survive roughly three weeks without food, I don't think we're really gonna want to last that long without food. Thankfully, nature can give us a lot of elements that doesn't really look like the food we eat today, but it's actually very healthy and nutritious for our body. Fact number seven, you might have heard there are many poisonous mushrooms that can easily kill you. So, what can we eat? Some plants like cattail, conifers, grasses, oaks, often provide very quick protein, fats, and calories. Be sure to identify the plant before you eat them. If you can't identify the plant, there are many plants that are very poisonous, so I suggest you do not touch them. If you're new to nature and you can't identify any plant, then you can always eat small animals and even insects. They actually do give a very high and nutritious protein. Bon appetit. Fact number eight, how to survive a shark attack. If you're swimming and you suddenly see a shark, what do you do? You swim further away. Be sure to keep an eye out for the shark. Pretend you don't care. Don't make any large vibrations or the shark will think you're a big creature and will target you. If the shark still swims in your direction, don't try to swim fast away. That will just wake up its instinct and it will chase you down. Instead, swim towards it and keep eye contact. That might scare away the shark. In case of an emergency, punch the shark in the eye, nose, or gills, the most vulnerable parts, and try to seem like a threat. Cause the shark come to you because it's curious and it won't come to you if you seem like a dangerous threat. Fact number nine, how to survive an avalanche. I know it sounds pretty scary, but it's not that complicated like the other ones. If you're trapped under snow in an avalanche, try to make a little air bubble around your head so you can breathe. Calm down, take a deep breath. Then spitting might help. Spit and dig in the opposite direction. Don't dig like wherever you think is right because you might just end up digging more down. And that's not what we want. Remember, never give up. Even if you're very deep under the snow, the higher you are, the more chances a rescue team might rescue you. Also, if your tunnel is too large, it might collapse. So keep that in mind. Don't panic or tire yourself, or you might even be in more need of energy and food. Fact number 10, how to survive a bear attack. I know it sounds scary too. It's not that simple, but still, I'm pretty sure you can survive it. There are three basic types of bear in North America. The polar bear, the grizzly bear, and the most common black bear. The polar bears are basically friendly. A grizzly bear is basically no escape, so just lie down, cover your neck, lie down on your tummy to protect your organs, and if you're lucky enough, the grizzly bear will just toss you around and think you're dead and leave you alone. The bear is smart, so be sure to lie there for a long time. If you don't hear it or see it, then still wait because the bears are not that dumb. They're pretty smart. What's more interesting is the black bear. Don't even try to run away from it because they can run up to 30 miles per hour. Plus they enjoy a morning running spree for chasing prey. And I don't think you're gonna have that kind of fun. Don't even try climbing a tree. A bear would rather climb a tree than run for prey. So your best bet is to slay on flat ground. And what you need to do is act big, scream, shout, roar, whatever. Try to make as much noise as you can. Stomp your feet, wave your jacket up high to make you look big, look confident, don't be scared, and show that you're strong enough to defeat the bear. That will scare the bear away if the bear is confident and willing to fight. Do not pick a fist fight because bears have claws and that is way more powerful than your fist. Most importantly, this is the most important rule of the whole 10th fact. There 
are no rules in bear fights. Use any weapons, a stick, a rock, a spear, a gun, a knife, anything that you can use to fight a bear. Don't show mercy, your best bet is to scare the bear off. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, ring the notification bell, leave a comment down below of what's your name, where you come from, and if you learn any special facts today. And well, see you guys in the next episode. Peace. <laughs> nope, you don't see that. Okay, okay uh, don't show mercy. Mm-hmm. <laughs>